going on, Rizzle fam? We might have some seriously exciting news coming up. That being said, don't get too excited just yet, because there's a good chance this one could fall through like all the rest. Donda 2, as fans have dubbed it, isn't really a sure thing yet, but that doesn't mean the hype is any less real. While some fans were too distracted by Certified Lover Boy to care about Donda, it was a great album and a definite step up from Yee's last effort. Donda, as an album, was absolutely huge, from the pre-release shenanigans to the runtime of the album itself. It was also huge as a release for Yee himself. It was his 10th album, and not only that, it was dedicated to and named after his mom, who Yee was incredibly close to. Initially, the album was going to be called God's Country, but eventually, the name was changed. The release date changed multiple times, and the hype only grew and grew. In the lead up to the release of the album and a huge invite only listening party, Yee literally stayed in the stadium inviting stars into a makeshift studio he had built to put the finishing touches on the album literally right up to the last minute, and sometimes even after the release was supposed to have happened. After each of the listening events, he modified the album to better fit his vision before the actual release. While that could have definitely helped the album in a few ways, it also could have hurt the album in the long run. The album made it to number one on the charts, tying the record set by Eminem with the whole 10 albums to take that spot. For all of that positive feedback the album got, people also had their issues with the album. One of the biggest problems people had with the whole thing is that while a whole bunch of tracks are great, a lot of the songs aren't all that memorable. The album itself clocks in at over 100 minutes, and not all that time was used very well. A lot of critics also thought the album didn't really flow very well, and to be fair, it did kind of feel all over the place. Another of the biggest issues with Donda, from a sound perspective and from a controversy perspective, is the fact that a lot of famous people like Chris Brown were originally set to feature on the album. Album, including a whole recorded verse, but they got cut. That made a few people pretty upset. The album had features from DaBaby, who was right out of the whole homophobia debacle after Rolling Loud. DaBaby had some pretty insensitive comments, and people were not at all happy. Marilyn Manson also featured on the album, and that was arguably an even worse pick, since he's in the middle of so many allegations right now. We're not gonna get into it, but to be real about all of it, including him on the album was pretty awful move on Yee's part. Even though the album might not have been to everyone's liking, the album still had some amazing features, some groundbreaking tracks, and the album performed really well, despite the fact that some people weren't really all that blown away critically. It's also up for album of the year at the Grammys, as well as best rap album. One of the tracks on the album, Jail, is also up for a nomination of best rap song. The album also includes a bunch of themes about Yee and Kim Kardashian's recent divorce, and to add to that, there were all sorts of weird mixed signals going on. Kim and Kanye basically did like a mock wedding on stage. Age, which is just a little odd considering they just finished up a pretty lengthy marriage by celebrity standards. To make matters worse, things have only gotten weirder in that area of their lives. Kim's now dating SNL comedian Pete Davidson, and Kanye's been spotted on a couple of dates with actress Julia Fox. To make everything weirder, for a while it sounded like Kanye was going to try to repair the marriage to Kim despite the fact that she had stated she had no interest. Yee did buy a house right across the street from the Kardashian mansion, which some people have called him out for. For, but at the same time, maybe he just wants to be close to co-parent his children. Now on to Donda 2, since we have some of the background together. It's not confirmed or anything like that, but one of the main reasons all of the speculation has started was at the end of December 2021. Justin LaBoy posted a video of Kanye in the studio with Scarface, which got people talking. Yee was also recently in the studio with The Game and Hit Boy, and ever since then, people have been going off for the idea of Donda 2. To make sure the hype only got bigger, Steven Victor released a statement about Donda 2 recently saying, Ye has started working on his new masterpiece, Donda 2. For those who don't know, Victor's a pretty big music exec who was previously the COO of Kanye's label, G-O-O-D Music. Aside from that, he's also huge at Universal Music Group. We also gotta point out the fact that Kanye has a pretty big history of building up hype for albums that don't ever happen. He said he's gonna do sequel albums before, but albums like Jesus is King Part 2 and Yeezus 2 haven't ever seen the light of day. A lot of the time, these albums just go on to get reconfigured and turn into other projects. But there's a whole list of albums Kanye started but didn't finish for one reason or another. There's Yandi, Watch the Throne 2, and Wolves. Unfortunately, the sequel to Donda could go the same way, although we definitely hope it actually pans out. Ever since the news of Donda 2 broke out, fans have been going crazy. One fan tweeted, too bad that by the time it drops, I'll either be dead or have lost my hearing. Another user on Twitter said, ye off that sh 
man. You gotta love him, but bro need to chill out. He been on that grind recently. Any other Yee fans feel me? To be fair, Kanye definitely has been putting in some work lately. Even if Donda 2 isn't dropping soon, even if it doesn't keep its name, even if the material gets scrapped for a little while, we're definitely getting another Yee album. It's just a matter of when. The problem is though, a lot of Yee's albums have been on some significant delays between releases. Well, that's just the way it goes. In all honesty, Kanye's never actually properly done a sequel to his album before. But at the same time, maybe since Donda holds such a special place in his heart, we'll get an actual part two of the album. The cool thing about the next album too is that basically the sky's the limit here. We could get features from people we never expected. Maybe we'll get another Ho feature. Another great thing about Kanye's albums is that he always finds the way to feature some seriously underrated underground rappers like he did with Fabio Foran on Donda. And even people like Chief Keef catapulting Drill to the mainstream. I guess the moral of the story here is that we never know what's coming next when it comes to Yee, but it's always super exciting to see what's next. What do y'all think? Is Donda 2 ever gonna drop? Let us know down below in the comments what you think. And if you like this one, you for real gotta check out this next one.